Okay. So this was our graph. Now in format, this is format option. Okay. Go to format. And there I have taken this data labels. Okay. In data labels regarding values, you can do the changes that you want. Right now it is rounded to some values, right? If you will actually change the display unit to none, okay, there you can see the exact value. Understood everyone? Right now you can see the exact value. If you are using display unit 2000, now it is the rounded value. Is it clear all of you? Now you can put some background, uh, some background uh, color also you can put. You have to make it on. Now here some background colors are there. You can click the drop down corresponding to it. You can change the color. Right now it is black in color, but it, what color here it is shown? It is gray, right? When you will change the transparency, you can see how the color is getting changed. Okay. When you are keeping a transparency to zero, now you can see pure black is appearing. Okay. When you are making it to some 80, 90 percentage, the light color of it is coming. Okay. Same thing we will, same transparency concept we can use for putting some background images as a watermark also. Okay. Now the next thing is plot area background. Go to this drop down. There is an option called browse. Okay. You can put a, uh, an image in this particular background area. Okay. Now I will take this image option and I will take simply Zomato. Zomato is okay. Yeah. Zomato. Now Zomato will appear over here. Okay. Now, when I will decrease the trans, increase the transparency of it as we did earlier. Okay. Now you can see it is appearing as a watermark. Is it clear all of you how to put a watermark kind of thing? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> so transparency is the thing that will help you to do so. Okay. So this is one chart. This is our bar chart. You can use horizontal bar chart also. Okay. This is a horizontal bar chart. Now, if you want to find that, um, what are the rating of different restaurant types? This is the different restaurant types, right? Now, in that case, you have to put type in Y axis and rating you should put in X, X axis. Okay. So rating is being shown in X axis and type is in Y axis. You can. Right now, delivery is having the highest rating. But when you will move your cursor over there, you can see what is the rating 49,780. Is it possible? What is the maximum rating possible? Five. It is five. But we are getting 49,718. Actually, it is the sum of the total. Right? When you will go yeah. to rating... And then where, where this is x-axis, right? And this is rating. When you will right-click over it, you can see sum is coming, right? By default, sum is taken. So you take average, okay? When you will take average, rings and nightlife is having the highest rating. That is 3.96, average rating you can see. And delivery is having the lowest rating, right? This is when we are taking the average. But if we are again taking the sum, then you can see delivery is having the highest rating. Earlier, delivery was having the lowest rating when we were taking average. Why it is happening? Do you know the reason? See, majority of restaurants are of delivery type now. So that's why sum is huge. Understood my point? Yes, yes. Sir. Majority of restaurants are of delivery type. That's why its rating is uh, coming as uh, uh, sum of rating is coming to be the huge, uh, I mean, highest one. When you will take the average, it will normalize everything. Okay. Here also you can do the same kind of formatting. Like you can change the size of this X and Y axis. Okay. You can change the size, you can do rest of the alterations, right? You can change the title name also, 
Okay, if you don't want the title, you can make it off. That will go. Okay, if you want it back, make it on. And if you want to write something over there, like uh, a restaurant uh, type, something that you want, you can write it over there. Okay, and uh, here you can see the only title cases there. Okay, and that's it. And regarding x axis, some values are there. Here also you can uh, show the same changes. Okay. Understood. And now, um, in case of color, you can actually change the font color. Okay. You can change the color of this based on some conditions also. That is possible. Okay. That is called conditional formatting. You can put some conditioner, like highest value should be in this color, lowest value will be in this color. When you will, okay. I have to enter the value over here. Okay. So you can use conditional formatting in this case that you can explore later. Okay. If you want to change the display uh, numbers, that also you can do, but it is not required because they are only one to five, one to four only. Okay. And regarding the title, average rating they are showing. Okay. Now, if you want to change the name of it with rating, if you want to change, you can change in that manner. Okay. <laughs> And rest of the formatting like font, whatever you want, you can choose that. You can do the change in size, okay? You can make it bold, italic, whatever you want, you can do that, right? And next is grid lines. Grid lines is not at all visible. You have to change the color of it, then only it will be visible to you. Okay, now it is more visible if you want it in solid form that is possible like this. Okay, and here also you can apply zoom slider. Okay, wherever numerical value is there, that there, the zoom slider will come. Okay, you can make it on or off based on your, uh, I mean, convenience. And here, these were columns. In this case of a horizontal. Okay, there was a net issue. That's why it was interrupted in between. My voice is clear now. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So I will share the screen once again. What was in the chat? Voice not audible. Uh, when now voice is audible? Yeah, yeah ma'am. Now is available. Okay. So uh, here you can see these are some of the uh, I mean bars. They are called bars actually. Here the name were columns. Here, the same thing is called bars. Okay. When you will click the drop down here, similar way, you can change the color of them. Okay. Rings in my head, this one, this, this one. Okay. Whichever color is okay for you, you can change it in that manner. Okay. So, similar way, you have to change it. Okay. The same way that I have changed the color. Okay, here also you can change the spacing like this. Okay. Like this, you can change the spacing. Okay, you can put the data labels on so that uh, we can see exactly what is the value. Okay, and there itself, you can change the, uh, you can increase the value of it, all those things you can. Right, and here you can change the color of it. If you want a background image, you can put it in the same way. Okay. You can change the color of background also. Like if you want blue color, you can take it. Okay. Light blue color will come out. Of it. Okay. It depends upon the transparency. If you want a dark, it a dark in color, you can take it. Otherwise, you can keep it as light in color. Okay. Here also, you can put some, uh, I mean, some images if you want. Okay. 
see uh, if you want any image like this you can put it okay now it is showing you big image you can make it normal fit okay fit when you will make it fit it will appear like this okay and if you want to decrease the transparency make it a water mark kind of thing you can do that is it clear all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so this is regarding our um, i mean horizontal bar chart okay there are many charts you can explore them uh, one i'm taking is pie chart okay now in this pie chart if i'm taking which location has how much uh, i mean which location is costly okay whichever categorical values are there that you should put in legend so it will appear like this with different colors okay now if you want uh, i mean cost of different location location wise if you want to find the cost you can put the cost over there cost means actually instead of location we can take something else also like if you want to take book label okay that is also possible understood everyone you can change the variables by simply clicking this cross mark and you can take any other variable also okay for example i am taking type now type in case of type it is showing me cost like dine out is having the highest cost delivery is having the lowest cost like that i can change the color of the slices i can do the formatting everything we can do okay for that you should you need not to click out so the outside you have to click inside of the chart and you have to select it go to format option in this is legend okay when you if you want to do some changes regarding the legend if you want to change the position of it this is right now it is in central right you can make it bottom left also like this okay you can make it top right also like this okay whichever location is okay for you you can take it in that manner okay this is simply showing you which slice means what okay now in case of text you can increase the size of it okay right now their size got increased now if you want to change the color in which they are written you can change that too okay brown color right and in the title it is written like type if you want to change the name of this thing that also you can do now next thing is slice okay so guys you can see these are some slices you can change the color of those slices by simply clicking on this slice option now colors of slices are being shown when it is when i am not clicking the drop down it is hidden okay you have to take the drop down okay then you can see different colors are there in case of dine out if you want something else you can put that color if delivery if you want red in color you can do that nightlife black in color dessert some peach color okay whichever color is okay for you you can take that color like this you can change the color of it okay and next thing is uh, these are some detail labels what is the percentage what is the value those kind of things if you want to change it you can go to this option and there in case of label content you can change it okay if you want only the category you can put the category like this okay if you want to take the percentage total you can take the percentage total if you want collectively both category and data value you can take it like this okay whichever thing is okay for you. if you want everything together take that all data labels okay then go to values in the values you can change the size of it font of it whatever you want. okay if you want to change the display unit right now display unit is makeup okay i will increase the size so that it is more visible now display unit is in mega right so if you want to change the display unit you can change it you can make it in terms of thousands you can make it in terms of uh, simple numbers okay all those things are possible you can see the entire number is there in case of delivery okay 
if you are choosing the billions, okay, this is how it is shown, okay, in case of millions, you can see. So you can change those things. You can change the value of decimal places also. Everything is possible. Okay. Now, if you want to rotate it, you can simply rotate it like this. Okay. Simply, you can rotate it. Understood? Now, similarly, uh, there is one chart that is donut chart. Okay. And in case of donut chart, similarly, I am taking type and votes only. Okay. This is how donut chart is. And here also options are same only. You have to go to format and in legend, you can see the options. Similar options are there. Everything is similar. Okay. Here also slices are mentioned. You can change the color of the slices. You can change the spacing. See right now in spacing, it, it is somewhat different than pie chart. Okay. Now you can change the sp spacing like this. Okay. You can make it close like this. You can make it thin like this. Everything is possible. Right? And in case of detail labels also, same way, you can change the unit, you can change the display values. Okay? Those kind of things you can change. And regarding values, you can increase the size, change the font, whatever you want. Okay? Here also, same way, rotation is possible. Now, if I want to make it as a pie chart, I have to simply go to uh, this particular usual, I have to choose pie chart. Okay. It is not becoming right now. This one I will try. Okay. I want it as a donut chart. Okay. So it can be made it as a donut chart. Okay. If I want it to be tree chart, this is tree map. Okay. If I want tree map, it will look like this. Okay. This is what is called tree map. If you are selecting a usual and you are selecting another, if you are selecting a particular usual and you are selecting anything else, that can be changed in that form. Okay. Whichever usual you are selecting, accordingly things will change. Right. Now this is your tree map. Okay. Here when you are moving the cursor, you can see the value and the type. But values is not written in the graph. If you want values over there, go to format and there you can seek for that option. Okay, if you want to change the size of them, you have to simply increase the text size. Oh, I have selected this one, right? Okay, I will go to tree map once again. Wait a second. Okay. Now go to format. And in format, if when you will put the legend on, it will show you what color means what. It is not required because already name is written over there. So you can make it off also. Okay. Now, in case of colors, you can change the color of them. Okay. If you want, whichever color you want, you can change accordingly. Now, this is the thing, data labels, which when you will put on, you can see the value. Like... What is the value of dine out? How many? Uh, I mean, what is the cost of total cost of dine out that you can see over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you want to um, change the display unit to some thousands and all, that is possible. Okay. Whichever unit you want. Now, next is category label. Category label means these names. Okay. Whatever names are there. It is already on. If you will make it on, it will go. The off it will go okay if you want it back make it on right this is what is called tree map now if yeah, you want to make now next is funnel chart okay one of the basic chart is funnel chart when you will take funnel chart highest value will be at the top and lowest value will be at the bottom understood everyone this is funnel chart okay here, same thing. Categorical okay. values will be written in category and numerical things should come in values. These are the two variables of it. Okay. When you will go to format, there you can do the similar changes. You can change the color of them as we did in case of bar chart. The same way you can change the color of it like this. Okay. Whichever color you need, you can do that. Take that. Okay.
right? And in case of data labels also, if you want to change the position of it, that is also, if you want it outside, like this, you can put it outside. If you want it inside, you can put it inside like this, okay? And in case of label uh, content, like uh, percentage of first, those kind of things also you can use. Okay, next in case of values, here values are millions. You can change it to thousands or whatever you want. All right. And in case of category labels, it is already on. These are the category labels. If you don't want, you can keep it off. But it will not create any sense. So you keep it on, on only. Okay. Like this, you can try out different changes one by one. Okay. Right here, conversion rate is being shown. It is 10 percentage like that. If you want, you can make it on or off. So this is actually what is called funnel map. It looks like uh, a funnel, right? This is funnel charts, not funnel map, funnel chart. I hope it is clear to you. If you want to go with line chart, you can take line chart. Okay, this is how line chart is shown. You can explore its parameters also. If you want uh, area map, area chart, you can take that one. Okay, some simple charts are there. You please try to explore it. Okay. Now, next thing is map. See, uh, in case of maps, you can put some locations in the map. Okay, this is your map. Uh, Ma'am, one doubt is here. Like, uh, uh, is there any specific uh, field like where we can uh, choose uh, like pie chart, donor chart or uh, uh, tree map or our uh, requirements, we have to choose the map. See, uh, the chart should be clearly visible to you. Okay. See, if you are okay. taking a donut chart and if you are putting rest, uh, if you are, if you want to see that, uh, I mean, no. Yeah, yeah, if you want to see that what is the um, location, if you want to see how many um, restaurants are from a particular location, you can put location in both legend and uh, the values, but it will show you a clumsy map like this. Now, it is very difficult to analyze. Many colors are actually merged with each other. So it is not a good, uh, I mean, it donut chart is not applicable not for this case. But it is applicable when you are taking something else. Like if you are taking uh, some values which can be shown easily within it, okay? Okay, okay. so as per the requirement and as, as per the, the requirement, you, you can take it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. okay, right now if you are having this chart, for example, sorry, control Y. Okay, now in this case, you can take line chart also. So you can drag and see everything. So in this case, line chart is more applicable. Understood? Yeah, ma'am, yeah, ma'am. Okay, so that is the, uh, we have to ourselves decide which chart we should take based on the conditions applied. Okay, next is map. So in the map, you can see different location. Where is the location of those restaurants? You can see that and you can uh, evaluate many other things. Put this location in location, okay? So it will show you where the restaurants are located, those kind of things, okay? Now, when you will put the location in legend, it will show different location with different color. Here, different location are being shown. Names and their colors are shown and here it is shown in the dots also color are getting changed okay now if you want to understand that which particular uh, location is having the highest rating highest cost and all if you want to understand that which particular place is having highest number of votes you can put the vote in bubble size so the size of bubble will vary based on the number of votes it is having some bubbles are small in size some are big in size based on the number of words it is having. The bubbles which are big in size are having more words. The bubbles which are small in size having very less words. Understood everyone? You can change the yeah, you can change the style of it by going to format and in map setting you can change the style by simply taking any 
style that you want. I will take aerial side, aerial type. Okay. Now it is showing like this. Okay. Uh, some more uh, controls are there. Like you can put some zoom buttons and you can zoom it also. You can put zoom button on and you can use it. Like this is the zoom button. You can use it like this. Okay. And uh, regarding legend, you can use, do some changes. Like if you want to change the position of it, bottom left, if you want, it will be shifted to bottom left. Okay. Now regarding the text, if you want to increase the size of this text, that also you can do. Okay. Regarding the bubbles, if you want to change the bubble size like this, it is also possible. Okay. If you want to change the color of them of different location, you can do that. Okay, so these are something. And in case of category labels, if you are putting it on, <coughs> it will show you which location they are. Okay. <coughs> okay, if you want to put some pie chart in it, okay. If I want a pie chart, so in that case, instead of uh, this legend, See, in visual, here, <laughs> I have taken location in legend, okay. In order to see different location in different color, and I will close it, and I will take something else, like book table if I am taking. Okay, now you can see the pie chart over there. <laughs> Is it clear, all of you? Can you see the pie chart? If you want, instead, if you want to put type over there, you can see a more clear pie chart. This is how you can put pie chart in a uh, map. See, I will say change the style of it so that it is more visible to you. Okay, I will take a road itself. <laughs> is it clear, everyone, how to put a pie chart in your map? Uh, Ma'am, can you please repeat this one once again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for that, go to this usual. Okay. Uh, I'm closing this legend. Okay. Now only location and bubble size are there. Okay. If I'm putting a variable in the legend, it will show me pie chart based on that variable. Okay. Like there are seven types based on that. The bubble will be will occur. Okay. It is showing me pie chart corresponding to the type of, I mean, in a particular location, how many types of different restaurants are there? It is showing me. Understood, everyone? In this particular location, only two types of restaurants are there. Here, more than two are there. Okay. It's, is it clear to you? Legend is the thing where you can put the next yes. variable and you can make the pie chart out of it. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now you can use field map also. For that, I will take the previous, uh, I mean, Excel sheet that we used yesterday, uh, the India, uh, Indian states and districts. Okay. Here I will show a glimpse of how we claim the data. Go to sheet, mark it, okay? Now, I'm going to transform data because a single column is having many nulls and this row is also having nulls. This particular thing should be the column header. So I will do all those changes by going to transform. And I will go to transform. I am there in the Power Query Editor where I can do the changes. I can clean the data, okay? So now the data set will appear. Now, this column is actually, when I will click on the drop down here, I can see all the values are null. So, I can simply remove it like this. Okay. Now, this row is having null and some unwanted website value. So, I can remove any number of top rows by just going to remove rows and there is an option called remove top rows. Only one row is having a problem. First row is having a problem. So, I will enter one and I will click on OK then that thing is gone. Now, if I want this particular row to be the column header, there is an option in home called 
use first row as header. When you will click it, it will become your column header. Okay. So everything is done. Now, if I want, I can simply go to remove rows, click remove blank rows so that blank rows are removed. And I will click on remove errors so that errors are also gone. Okay. When I will click on close and apply, the whole changes will get applied in the Power BI desktop. Okay, so this is my data set right now. This is my data set. Uh, Ma'am, yeah. uh, here, if any one error will be there, then it will not upload to the Power BI desktop, See, right? See, the okay. row which is okay. having error, you can delete that entire row. Ha, ha, that got it. If any row will be uh, error, mm -hmm. any row or cell, any cell will be there, any error, then it will not upload to the Power BI desktop, right? It will yeah, show correct, error, then correct. again. So that's upload. why I'm removing the error. Hmm. Okay, understood? Um, okay, got it. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to this field map, okay? This is your field map. Now what I'm doing is I want all the color, states in different color. So I will take this state, I will put it in location and I will put, so it is showing me, uh, okay, it is not coming. Yeah, now you can see entire India, okay? Because it is the data set of uh, different states and union territories in India. Now I will put the same state. See, first of all, I want to tell you one thing in the data set. This data set is regarding different states, its district and what state type they are. Okay, so this, this is actually identified, this state column is identified in the map. Okay, now I will put the state in legend also so that all the different districts and states can be shown with different color like this. Is it clear all of you? Yeah. This is what is called field map. Okay, so okay. I hope everything is clear. You can try out other uh, visuals also. Because there are 280 visually, it is not possible to cover it, it within some small duration of time. So you try out by yourself that what visuals are there, what are the parameters in it. Right? All of you, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall I wind up the meeting? Any doubts you want to ask? Ma'am, share this video. One second, we'll go through that. If any doubts, again, we'll ask. Yeah, yeah, doubts. I understand. Since I have to cover a lot of things, that's why I'm a bit fast. So it may be difficult for you to grasp everything within a go. So you again watch the video and try by yourself also. Okay, clear, all of you. Okay. Okay then. Uh, I will post this to uh, I mean data sets in your group also. Okay, where your group is. I will post it in Power BI group. That is okay, right? Everybody is having the access to it, I think. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you please go through the video as well as the data set and try it by yourself so that uh, you will get an exposure to this particular software. So guys, shall I wind up the meeting? Sure, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, then. Bye. Okay. You've got the data set, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. please. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome.